Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education video series. Today we're going to be looking at how many different mathematical shapes that you can create simply by folding a circle. Now in order to do that, you need to start, of course, with a circle. So I'm going to be using a shortcut die and this is the 8 inch circle. In order to do that, I'm going to be cutting on the Big Shot Pro machine, so I'm going to set it on to the carrier and then I'm going to be cutting five sheets of construction paper. I'm going to cut five at a time because if I were doing this for a class and I had 30 students, I would want to know that I'd only have to do this um, six times in order to create enough circles for a class of 30. So once I've cranked it through, then I'll reach over and I'll grab I really only need one circle, but you would have, of course, all of the five circles that you've cut. And you're going to take the circle, and the first thing that you need to do is you need to figure out where the middle of the circle is. So I'm going to do that by folding in half, and then I'm going to use the fold line that I just created in order to fold in half again, lining up my fold lines. And what that will do is it will give me an exact middle spot. When I have the center marked, I'm going to use that and place that on another circle. And with a pencil, I'll just mark exactly where that circle is going to be. And once you've marked, you can see I've already marked this circle. Now is when the folding begins. And it's so easy, but so fun. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to fold any, any section of the circle so that I just barely kiss that mid spot, that pencil line. And I'm going to do the same thing this time using the edge of that first fold that you see here. I'm going to fold again. Once again, notice I'm just kissing that middle spot. And now from my two um, folds that are already there, I'm going to go back and fold again and hit that middle. And you can see that I've created an equilateral triangle. Now you can pick any tip of the triangle and I'm going to just fold it so that the tip will touch the end. And when you do that, you can see that it creates an isosceles trapezoid. If I use this previous fold as a guide and I fold one edge over, now I've got a rhombus or a parallelogram. And then if I fold again, I have once again a smaller but another equilateral triangle. Now if I open these back up, and I take each vertice and I fold it so that it touches that pencil that I had that mark right in the middle again. I'll bring each of those edges in and I'll hold it up. You can see that what I've done now is I've created a hexagon. And if I open this up and use those fold lines, when I pull these together, look at how easily I've now created a truncated tetrahedron. And I can open the whole thing up and create a solid tetrahedron. So many things. You know, who knew a simple circle could be so productive? 